We chose to nominate Duncan, Tom, and Bob for the Be Part of It Award because they really represent an enormous contribution to our community as a whole. The number of hours of their time and their team's time that have gone into uh, this project over the last five years is extraordinary. We're talking about around 30 volunteers each year dedicating uh, three to 4,000 hours of their time to this project. And it has enriched all aspects of community life here. Their dedication has impacted Silver Springs by making it a better place to live, in my opinion. Um, driving into the community now, you see them working in the gardens, in their groups of twos and threes. Um, they're working on all of the different gardens, and there's 10 different different areas, and there's little groups working on all of them. Um, they're always there. Um, every Saturday morning they meet for coffee before they go out and, and attack the gardens and, and do their weeding and whatnot. So, yeah, they've just uh, they've made an incredible place. Our group got together, uh, it started in 2002 when the birth, uh, Community Association was lucky enough to get the a birthplace forest put in on a piece of land that's about 15, 18 acres. It was uh, uh, unused right away and, and the city through their birthplace forest project put 7,000 trees in there. So when that was done, the community association uh, formed a committee to uh, get input from the neighborhood as to what else we might do with that piece of land to make it even nicer. So a committee was formed and to get input from the community as to what should be done. A report was submitted to the Community Association and then our group was formed to uh, implement some of the uh, suggestions in that plan. I think the biggest thing is that you take something like a, a neighborhood like Silver Springs and it makes it a community. So if people live in a neighborhood when they volunteer and do things to make it better for everybody, it becomes a community. We have, uh, last count that I can recall, there's 10 different gardens. We have, uh, you know, we have cyclists, uh, walkers, dog walkers, uh, and, and it's becoming a place where people actually congregate. We've had wedding pictures taken in the gardens, and, uh, and we're getting to be well known, and that's what we need. What we really need is a, some good signage, and we're working on that. We had um, uh, 28 uh, volunteers this year, uh, working over six months, total of in excess of 4,000 hours they put in and uh, they're, they're dedicated, um, hard-working, and, and even better, they're, they're nice people, and they're fun to be with. The gardens have created a sense of belonging in Silver Springs because I think it's, it's a meeting place. There's, there's people, uh, dog walkers that meet there, uh, there's cyclists, there's, there's Different garden groups have, have come from all over the city, from South Calgary, East Calgary, um, and they, they talk about gardens and the, uh, the importance of more gardens in the city. Uh, and I think people really just enjoy meeting there. I think volunteering is important because it, it's an opportunity to give back to the community uh, and also to the city. Um, I think it's it's a, a great place to meet people. Um, like every it seems like every month we're having new people coming on board, and, and they all have different stories. They all have different um, walks of life that they're uh, you know they're, a lot of them are retired, so it's just interesting to uh, to hear their stories and how they got involved with the gardens. The message I would like to give Duncan Bob. Tom and the entire garden group is to say thank you so much for creating a volunteer opportunity that gives our residents an opportunity to get out in the fresh air, to exercise, to meet one another, and to engage in an activity that benefits the entire community. The message we want to give Duncan, Bob, and Tom is basically thank you for everything you've done. Um, your time, your energy, your dedication. Um, you've just, you've, you've made it an, an incredible project and, and again, thanks.